Right, we are here today um, looking at how to create a 40th gift hamper, some of the things we put into it and how to make it look professional. How Creating can you them. create a gift at home that looks something similar maybe to yeah. what we have created from a professional. So this is our interpretation and what we think is something different, something you might not have thought of and something that they are going to enjoy and it's going to bring a smile to their face when they open. Show me something different. Yeah. Let's let's have something different. Let's not have the same old, oh, the same old. I'm getting bored here. Show me something that little bit more creative, imaginative and whatever. You can even see what we've got on the table here. We've got about 15, 20 products here. There is mm -hmm so much to enjoy, so much to take in. You want a, a combination of some high-end, uh, expensive aspects <laughs> and some sort of like, that's something different, I haven't seen that before, or that's something unusual. So, so we've decided be. what's going to go on top. We have um, our birthday items that we've kind of, we have, we're lucky enough to get, you know, chocolate bars in that say happy birthday. Our cake has a sleeve that says happy birthday and we're able to change the sticker just one of the perks we have here um, of packing them in um, ourselves. This basket in particular is called Roaringly Good Birthday Gift Hamper. So um, we're about the stories, we're about the narration, we're about the person that is looking to send. It's as important what we create for that person. I think that's a big advantage as a hamper company that makes them. You know, I, I know very few hamper companies that actually make their own hampers, but I think <laughs> about how they would be packed and I think that makes a, a unique something different to the to the discussion about birthday hampers yeah well whenever you create it you have to make sure it fits in the container i would choose here obviously again we've we're, we're a bit of a cheater here because we're obviously to scale so we've got like per, we've got all these yeah we have colors all our colors whatever. you can get this in a craft store or whatever so i just create a little bed and then these products here which are all very very high quality good uh, ones anybody getting it is going to go oh that's really that's really cool that's really interesting. So we're just kind of popping them oh, into the bottom and it also creates that experience of when the person opens it, that it's not all, wow, it's in your face, it's all there, that you can dig through it and it's an experience in itself. So straight from the off, that's your, your bottom layer. It doesn't need to be anything dramatic or over, over the top. It's just a, a layer of products underneath. It's all high, everything feels heavy and substantial. And then the things that we put onto the top, that's why you do it. It allows you to basically ensure that whenever somebody opens it, a consistency across the top. So in certain sessions like this, what I would do is just put a little bit more straw in there because you want it all to be level. Um, you can put the straw across the top as I did in the last one, but say you want everything to be of a flat level across there, then just build it, build up, it up from the bottom place. And if it doesn't look right, pick it all out. And so that that product there can go on to there. And then it doesn't matter if you overlap. I think um, I, I always have a rule whereby it doesn't matter if something overlaps on something you don't yeah. have to show everything out as like a, a jigsaw type of stuff you just have to show and you can bend things across the most important thing is that when somebody gets it it looks it looks professional it I'm looks coordinated start showing the finished look so we pack ours and we finish it off with ribbon and we tie a bow forgotten how to tie a bow there we go. So just a way to finish your gift off and make sure that it looks um, exceptional for your friend, for your family member that you may be sending it to. It's the little final touches. The more care you put in yep. to choosing a gift, to choosing the products or building it, the um, the, the recipient will see that. Yep. That's why we believe in our stories whenever we kind of create them, like who We'll be buying this and for what purpose. And finish it with a little happy birthday ribbon. And that is... This design, this concept really works because there's nothing in it which is mm -hmm. offensive. The chocolate and the, the, this is tea, this is chocolate cake or whatever for birthdays. Um, the, uh, the chocolates themselves are, are healthier and whatever and organic. And it's all sort of producers that they would, that are kind of unusual, but. It's all things that you associate with a birthday. I, I, I sometimes say, 
you know, people put in the birthday one and it's like health, they know that somebody's healthier so they put too many healthy things. That it's, that's not the way people are, <laughs> you know, it's not really the truth. Um, if it's your birthday, even if, if you don't drink, say, through the year, you'll maybe have a beer or something like that with your, uh, on, on your birthday. Likewise, if you do eat healthy normally on your birthday time, you say, you're always looking for an excuse to, yeah. to deviate away from it. So um, that tended to be our, the, the, the story that our customers told us whenever they were purchasing things. Um, and whenever we were designing uh, the, the, the gifts over the last 20 years, okay. as a group of people clubbing together for somebody whose birthday is in their uh, close to 40 yeah. or in their 40s, it's a really good gift idea. It is. It looks spectacular. So hopefully you create hampers at home, which are as good as this. We're very proud of the, the, the thought, the design and the attention that goes into this. And if you uh, design your own, take little hints and, and pieces of advice from, from how we've done it, or better still, bye from us. <laughs>